Hey guys, Shane here. Otherwise known as Crypto Fish. Just wanted to do a quick video today. Uh, mining rig update. What's going on with that? Um, as y'all know, in the last video, uh, rig crash with that new HD 7970 card. So I've taken that out. I'm no longer doing nice hash right now. Um, I've moved over to SMOS. So with that, I have chosen to do Ethereum because that looked like it's the most profitable right now. So here we are on Mining Pool Hub, which is what I use. Um, on the balance of screen, got about almost 69 Verge coins, which what I'm doing is whatever I mine, which I'm mining Ethereum right now, I automatically convert it over to Verge. So Ethereum, let me click on Ethereum. Let me go to dashboard. And over here, as you can see in the past 24 hours, that's roughly an average of what I'm doing. 0 0.002 Ethereum. So let me copy that real quick and see what that is in a US dollar amount. Which will be right here, convert uh, $1.99, so about $2 is doing, okay? So let's go over and look. Here's my spreadsheet from the last video. I am no longer doing the CPU mining because I can't do that on uh, uh, simplemining.net, the SMOS uh, software. So let me put a zero here and a zero here. So I was making $40 and 50 cents a month average right so now as you just saw I have two cards they were originally making 75 cents a day but now at a dollar 99 a day as we just saw right here basically two dollars split that between two cards that's a dollar a card so let me go back over here and enter one and one I have to fix this. It's going to equal E5 minus D5. 77 cents a day. And as you can see, my profit loss has gone up almost $6 a month right here. About 20 cents a day since I did that BIOS mod, which I went over again uh, and told you guys about in the last video. Um, go ahead and check that out. There's a guy I found on eBay for six bucks, uh, helped me out with a BIOS mod. Gave me about two mega hash a card on average, which, I mean, it's 20 cents, 20 cents a day, 10 cents a card. I mean, I'll, I'll take it, whatever. So here's Simple Mining. It's doing 23 between the two cards, 23, almost 24 mega hash, whereas before it was doing about 9.7, 9.8 mega hash a card. So it was a pretty good improvement. You know, I'm happy with that. Um, so we go back over here. Let me click on balances again. It's about 69 Burge coin. Uh, before going to nice hash earlier, I had mined on uh, SMOS 211 Burge coin. So let me pull up my little calculator here. 211 plus roughly 69 gives me about 280 Burge coin right now I've mined here. Burge is at 0 0.063. So let's do a little math times. 0 0.063129 worth of burge right now. now. It's not bad, it's not great. I'm obviously not getting rich off that, but it is making money. As you can see from the spreadsheet, after electricity cost, it is making money. Each card is doing about 77 cents a day. So I can't complain about that. Um, I am looking into, after the HD7970 fiasco on eBay, I'm not fooling with eBay anymore and used cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking for RX 570 cards. I kind of asked around um, and I was told by a couple different people, 350 should be roughly 
the max I want to go for on a RX 570 and this is the cheapest I found it right here 409 so I want to wait a little bit until they drop I can't even find uh, 560s I paid 177 for my 560s a piece let me look those up real quick or x560 I think those are going for well, look at that that just popped up the cheapest one I saw earlier was uh, oh that's a two gigabyte I got four gig four gigabyte that's why it's cheaper the cheapest one I saw for four gig earlier was 209 as you can see right here, here's a 4 gig 268. Look at that. God. 230. I had an arrow. I had this card right here, but in a 4 gig version, I paid 177 for both of them a piece. And they're just, just way overpriced. Look at that. You can't even touch them for under $200 now. For an RX 560 4 gig card. But anyways, guys, I'm not gonna keep you on the video here. I'm just gonna keep uh, keep looking. Uh, I'm gonna look at Newegg as well, looking for a 570. Hopefully, I can score one for around 350 bucks and slap that in the rig, and that'll be uh, my third card. I do have an old motherboard, which I'm gonna think I'm gonna try this weekend. I have an old motherboard. I still have a G4400 processor, I've got RAM, I've got a power supply. So what I'm going to do is try and put that HD7970 in that old motherboard and see if it works. That motherboard is like 15 years old, okay, it's like an old Dell motherboard. It still runs, will it, will it accept that G4400 processor? I have no idea, but I think I'm going to try that this weekend, I'll let you all know. Alright guys, if you all are new to the channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe, please. Uh, like this video if you like the content and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos that I have coming out. Okay, guys? Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.